Let's take a look at this problem. An accountant deposits 15000 to an account that earns 8.5% annual interest compounded monthly. What is the value of the investment after 10 years? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't see the word continuous anywhere in there. So that tells me exactly which formula to use for, for interest. We're going to use A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. Well, let's write down what they give us. An accountant deposits 15000 to an account. That's our principal. That's our beginning amount. So P is 15000 uh, into an account that earns 8.5% annual interest. Well, um, 8.5 will be our R, um, our interest rate, but we want it in decimal form. So it'll be 0 0.085. This is 8.5, and to change it to decimal form, we move our decimal point two places to the left, which is 0.085. Uh, annual interest compounded monthly. Now, compounded monthly means n is equal to 12. What is the value of the investment after 10 years? So they're telling us t is 10. Well, they're wanting to value the investment, so they want the ending amount, which is a. So let's plug in what they give us. P is 15,000. 1 plus R, which is 0 0.085, divided by N, which is 12, raised to the NT power, so 12 times T, which is 10. Now, it's better to do a little bit of basic math before you plug it in your calculator. Not very much, so don't, like, worry. The one I'm talking about is multiply your exponents together. 12 times 10 gives us 120. Now you can plug it in straight at this point, but you'd have to make sure that you put parentheses around your exponent. Because anytime you have more than a single number or a single variable in your exponent, you have to put parentheses around it. So let's uh, see what this gives us. Okay, so we've got 15,000. Beginning parentheses. 1 plus 0.085. divided by 12, close parentheses, caret, and then 120. Enter. And that's going to give us 34,989.71. And that's our answer.